Israel-Hamas war protests on college campuses. It's been in the news cycle now for weeks. At USC, professors who were going to give commencement speeches are pulling out in protest of the university's decision to cancel its valedictorian speech and its main ceremony over safety concerns. Asna Tabassum was going to give a commencement speech until pro-Israel groups say the pro-Palestinian student shared anti-Semitic statements on her social media. Tabassum said they weren't anti-Semitic, but out of precaution, the university canceled her speech. That decision fueled further protests on campus, leading the university to call in the LAPD and arrest about 100 protesters. Then USC canceled their main ceremony, which would have held about 65,000 people, saying the security screenings they would have had to conduct would take too long to process such a large crowd. Each of the school's colleges are set to have their own smaller ceremonies. The university says it had to take certain measures to ensure student safety. But two people who were slated to give commencement speeches have now pulled out, condemning the university's actions. One of the high-profile speakers said to speak at USC in this moment would betray not only our own values, but USC's too. Asna's removal, the administration's refusal to engage in dialogue with student protesters, and the decision to invite LAPD forces onto campus represent a violent and targeted refusal to allow true diversity of expression to flourish on campus. The professors encouraged dozens of other projected speakers to join them in boycotting USC. USC is far from the only college campus experiencing fallout over its handling of these mass protests. There have been more than 800 arrests across university campuses since mid-April. As colleges try to enforce boundaries around what qualifies as free speech and what crosses the line.